Hey there, my name is Chris Palmer. In today's on-page SEO, how to get more organic website traffic video, what I'd like to share with you is two ways that you can go ahead and take your pages that might already be ranking and getting traffic and ways that you can optimize them in order to maximize the organic traffic that you're receiving. So I'm going to show you two ways in this video that you can start optimizing your pages for more traffic. I don't want to waste any time. Again, my name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmermarketing.com. All of your SEO needs I can handle for you. With that out of the way, let's talk about these two ways to increase organic traffic. Now, I want to bring you over to the very first way, all right? So the very first thing that I want to share with you is going to be when you have a page that's already performing, for instance, with local citation services, my website, we're redoing a lot of things, but on my website, we're page one for local citation services, right? Now I'm already ranking for local citation services, but you have to remember that a page ranks for more than one keyword. You optimize for a head term, right? But that web page will bring in more keywords and more traffic that's not even based on the primary it's all these different variations and a bunch of different keywords so the fastest easiest way to increase traffic to a page that is already ranking is by seeing what google thinks your page is about right if google's sending you traffic for a keyword google thinks your page is about that keyword right so the fat one of the fastest easiest ways to get a ranking boost is by coming into your Google Search Console. This is one way to do it. You could do it with tools, but I'm going to show you with Google Search Console. Come into your Search Console. Take a look at the pages. Go into the page that's going to be, for me, this page is going to be Local Citation Services. Okay? And what you're looking for is a keyword that is getting a lot of impressions, but it's ranking low. Now, why are we looking for this? The reason we're looking for this is Google is showing this but you're not quite optimized well enough for you to rank high for that keyword. But Google already thinks that your page is about that. So if you figure out and analyze for that keyword, Google's going to give you an immediate ranking increase by simply adding that keyword to the page a few more times. So again, we are going into the Google Search Console. We click on performance. It's on the left-hand side. You scrolling down the page, you're looking for your pages. Look for a page that you want to get a ranking edge where you might be page one for a big primary keyword that you really want to win. You go to your pages and now once we have the actual page and we're looking at the page, what we want to see here is, well, what are the queries that we're winning here? So we can see now we're going to come up here. We're going to go to average position. We're going to shut off the clicks and we're going to keep on impressions. So now we're on that page and we're looking at queries. So these are the keywords that Google's rewarding me with. I'm getting queries. I'm getting impressions, but we're, we have average position turned on and impressions turned on. What you do is you come on over here and now we can see here's our impression count and here's our position count. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to click on position. These are, these are keywords that are in position citations for local SEO, right? Here we go. Number one, 100. So position 100, but 874 impressions. Well, Chris Palmer marketing on that page should add local citation building to the page a few more times. Why? Google thinks my page is about this. Google is showing me for this keyword. This keyword is getting 874 impressions for this specific phrase. If you add this to the page a few more times, I'll get a ranking increase. I, I can guarantee you I'll go from position 100 for this keyword. I'll skyrocket up. I, I guarantee I can hit page one or top of page two simply by adding it to the page a few more times. So this is tip number one, all right? Massive increase in traffic for very little work. Here's tip number two. We're going to stay on this same exact topic, but instead of looking at our Google search console, it's the same idea, but in a different way. So here's what I mean. What you want to do is you're going to come over to say a search phrase. For this particular example, I'm going to use local citation services. I know I'm page one for it, right? I know I need to do some re-optimization of the page in order to rank higher. So what we want to look at is you want to bring in 
a top performing website. Okay. So at the top is localcitationservices.com. Exact match. I'm sure they're doing very well on Bing as well because they have an exact match. That's neither here nor there. I want to look at a big player and see what secondary keywords are they optimized for that is bringing a percentage of traffic for their local citation services page, right? They're, rank, they're optimized for this query, but what other keywords are they actually optimized for that's bringing traffic to that page that I don't have on my page? So here's what you do. We're going to go to that specific page that's ranking above us. We're going to grab their URL up at the top, the URL. And then the next step is we want to go ahead and open up a tool. So for this example, we're going to utilize SEMrush, but you could use Ahrefs, you could use Majestic, you could use Moz. Use whatever you're comfortable with. We're just looking to analyze this particular page. So inside of SEMrush, we're going to go ahead and add this in. We're going to look at this exact URL, and we're going to take a look at that specific page. So we're going to exact URL. We're looking at worldwide traffic on that page, okay? What we want to do here is we want to take a look. We're looking, they have 73 keywords that are really bringing in the traffic to that page. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and come inside of here and we can see, okay, here's the exact URL. Excellent. Here's their US traffic. Excellent. I'm based in the US. We're going to take a look, but we want to sort by traffic percentage. Okay. So brand name plus keywords. So bright local citations. Could it be beneficial to have the word bright local citations at least one time on my page? Absolutely. It's bringing in 15% of their overall traffic to that page, right? So uh, one thing that I like about Ahrefs a little bit better is uh, it'll give me exact. So with SEMrush, I have to figure out, okay, this page is doing 750 minus uh, 15%, right? So they're getting 112 people a month that are just looking for this keyword here. So here's the optimization tip. Bright local citations, this is just an example, right? You don't have to take someone's brand. You don't have to use it once. But in this case, it would be very effective for me to at least add it once or twice to my page somewhere that it would make sense on my local citation page. Why? Because 15% of the traffic of the top performing website above me is bringing in 15% of their traffic based on this keyword. Now, why is this important? If the top traffic is the reward for optimization, if I take traffic away from a top performer, right? What will Google reward me with? Rank, right? So the objective is always optimize what you have while you're taking traffic share from top performers. It's it. That's SEO. <laughs> That's the game. That's the game. That's why I love SEO. That's what we're doing here. We're optimizing to win. So with that being said, we'll take a look at another keyword. Bright local citations, you know, just, I'm not saying that we would grab that entire keyword but at least we would start getting some impressions for a big keyword and start generating traffic, potentially showing up for those keywords. As people are searching for them, we could start popping in there. A really good one would be citation building services uh, or service. So that's a variation of the keyword. I'm going after services. So that service, I'm probably already tuned for that. Local citation management. I assure you local citation management probably only shows up once or twice on my page, right? So you would go and check your optimization. In order to check these optimizations, what you can do is you can head on over to your website. Here, I'll show you this last thing here before we jump off. Local citation services, right? So we're on the local citation services page. We'll go in here. This is SEO Quake. This is a SEMrush tool. It's completely free. It's a, like a Chrome extension. So, uh, this is very odd that we only have 194 words on this page. I'm not sure why that would be, but uh, very interesting. It looks like we haven't got the page back up. So I definitely need to add more keywords to this page. <laughs> but in any case, uh, it doesn't look like they posted the entire page yet. So with that being said, I definitely need to add this keyword to the page. 
right? So again, what we're doing here is we're doing a keyword gap analysis based on what Google's rewarding us with inside of Search Console. And then we're also doing a competitive gap analysis based on our competitors. What keywords are, do they have that we're not optimized for? So we can start grabbing traffic share from the leading competitor. That's exactly what I'm showing you here today. I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that this gets your pages more ranking, more organic traffic. If you have any questions about this strategy, any strategy that I share with you, please never hesitate. Feel free to go ahead and ask in the section below. Check out chrispalmermarketing.com. And I, of course, look forward to seeing you in the next on page SEO how to get more organic website traffic video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.